Peter Gretig with Farms.com. We're here at the London Farm Show, and today we're speaking with John Murray. He's a precision ag specialist with HJV Precision. And John, one of the things that I think most producers recognize is that RTK provides really the ultimate in accuracy at this point. How does a producer know if they're ready for RTK, if they've started with WAS, or even if they're a new buyer, um, whether they should start with RTK? Can you talk a little bit about that? I guess it comes down to their buying decisions, Peter, where, where they want to go with the operation. Um, a lot of our customers will start entry level, but as they see the benefits of basic GPS, look at RTK as a way to you know reduce inputs, um, primarily on the planting side. Um, a lot of our customers in the vegetable markets see the need for the accuracy, and more importantly, it's the repeatability that they're after, year after year, pass after pass, being able to run those same lines. Okay. Control traffic, is that one of the issues? More more and more we're seeing control traffic coming up whereby you know the, the the idea of working running on the same piece of ground year after year leaves the rest of the soil undisturbed. Okay. And what about the availability of RTK, cost of RTK? Can you speak to that a little bit? Costs have come down considerably. Okay. Uh, I've been doing it for you know I've been in RTK for ten years now and the, you know the first systems on the market topped over seventy thousand dollars. Wow. Uh, we've seen it you know the prices have come down as more and more people the market. Um, availability, uh, the, the big thing that has driven RTK I think are the concept of base station networks whereby a group of local growers may decide to go together right. setting up two or three different towers in an area and provide coverage throughout a large area. So the network concept has really taken off. Okay. And a lot of the receivers, if I understand correctly, are actually uh, will handle WAS or RTK? That's correct. Ultimately? Yeah. A lot of operations will, will use the RTK part of it on the planting side or the more more where accuracy is important but then be able to use that same machine to run spread fertilizer or move to a sprayer where a six to ten inch level of wasp accuracy would be sufficient. Two three years down the road do you see RTK sort of being the standard? I would think so. Right. I think uh, it's one of those things um, once you run RTK it's hard to go back to anything else. Right. Um, often the customers that have gone RTK come back and say why didn't we do this five years ago. Okay, really appreciate your comments today, John. Thank you, Peter. Thanks.